Hi, everyone. Hello. I'm going to speak about iViewit, Instacart, and Fidelity Investing. Using Fidelity brokerage platform to invest. First, let me show you this. I just completed an iViewit. I figured why not? It was around the corner. It was a payday loan store. And it was actually three questions. That's no lie. They wanted a lot of pictures. It's corner location, my area. Gave them the information they were seeking. Now, I did an iViewit on Friday. And the information didn't upload. But they, they didn't reply to me. So I had to make that video public. Because I want to make sure that they see it because I deserve to get paid for my time. I took the hour out of my life to do that, but I wasn't just doing that. I squeezed that in and not to get paid. And the last time I was there, there was a problem with uploading. It took forever. This time it just would not upload. Well, I think that's very unfair to someone like me. It's the location in Oceanside. Sometimes that happens. They could have very bad connection, Wi-Fi, something with the blockchain, 5G, you know, you, you get it. But I uploaded that to make it public so they know it's public and I sent them messages in three different locations because I expect a response. I went and completed the view, so I expect to be paid. It's not my fault the information didn't upload. And they are a company who has paid me in the past for this happening, which was the other night, a few nights ago, I gave back two views because the first one took so long to upload. However, I want you to know they up they updated their app after I sent them that video. You see that? I view it. Um, second row, second column with the one in the circle. They up they updated it. I was checking to see why wouldn't it, why wouldn't it allow me to update it? I, that's what I thought it was and it wouldn't take it, but I expect to be paid for my time. And they are a company, an app company that do pay you for your time. I'll get back to you on that. So it did work. I'm really happy I went. I went down the block. I answered three questions. That was it. I took like, I don't know, 12 or 15 pictures. And that was one of the three questions. And I came home. It was right around the corner. Next. Instacart. Do you see order B? Zero tip. What a bunch of bullshit. Pardon my cursing, but that's how I feel. I'm going to have to train myself not to accept something when I see over $25. I have to tap it to see if it's one, two, or three batches in one order because that wasn't worth my time. I'm letting you know that was not worth my time. But once I accepted it, I did that yesterday and I went out very late. How can you not tip someone? And let me show you this. Let me show you this. Oh my goodness. Let me go back up. Oh. I'm very familiar with this building. It's a Merrick next to the train station. Those are the steps up to her apartment. Those are the steps up to the foyer to get into the door, to get into the apartment. That's my little scrolly cart. That's no lie. If I didn't have the cart, that would have been very hard. It was only three bags. She was the smallest order in the batch. She was. Order B was the smallest order. But if I wasn't familiar with the area, I was like, oh, that building underneath the train station. Oh, my God. L let me park right here. Let me pull up my little cart. And it made it so much easier. No tip. Sorry. I have to train myself. You know, I, I, I thought it was an order over $25. I won't take orders over tw well, less than... Nah, it depends. 20 bucks. 20 bucks would be the lowest I go because it's not worth your time. It's not worth your energy. And let me show you something else. Order A, she put 554 as a tip on the app. She was really cool. I delivered right here in Merrick. And then she gave me this. She, when I pulled up, she was waiting for me. She was a very nice woman. She opened up our garage and she said, please put this stuff here. And she was the largest order. Very easy. Two cases of soda, 
two bottles of water, but with handles, three bags of food, and a big box of chips. She thanked me for my service, appreciated me. I was like, yes, ma'am, no problem. She was on the phone, and she was like, thank you. And when I left, when she knew I was finished, she said, hold on a minute. Thank you very much for your service. Here's something else for you. Thank you. I said, thank you, ma'am. She said, no, thank you. Have a good day. She really appreciated the service. That's why I'm sticking to my guns with my dumpling business. Because I'm telling you, this was not worth my time. I did it. I did it. But I won't be so hasty next time. I won't grab something. I feel now, with some experience, after some experience, if I don't get the batch, it's not meant to be. I was really quick. It was middle of the day, Monday, like 2.30ish, 3 o'clock. Nobody was around. They gave me a three-order batch. That's what they give me. And somebody didn't tip me. Not even a few dollars. That would have made a world of difference. At least it would have hit 30 bucks. Thank God for this cash tip. Because that would have been a total waste of my time. So, <laughs> let me show you that one more time. Because that's a challenge. Those are small steps, but it's a challenge. And I was familiar with the building. Thank goodness, because of Uber Eats. Okay, what else? Oh. I spoke about I view it, Instacart. Fidelity. You know, um, investing. And I fixed, I reorganized, liquidated my portfolio. And what I did was I sold off the shares of companies I really believe in. I went down to 49 cents and everything in my portfolio because I believe I could buy all of those shares back under a dollar. I sold all the ones that were over a buck, over 50 cents. Bye. Gave myself a little extra this week because it's nothing major. It's a small loss which is a good deductible at tax time. This is all a part, this is all a part of, listen to me guys, setting up assets that generate income in the background that you don't need to physically work for every time. You don't have to give your time to earn income every time. I wasn't raised that way. And in the past few years, I've been training myself to to understand the stock market, to understand investing, to understand crypto, to understand promoting apps that generate daily residual income, building my online business. I was not raised that way. I was always raised to give my time to earn income. That's not the way to live. You can love your job. You can love it all you want. But if you don't have something in the background in case something happens to make, to make the financial stresses of life less stressful, you're a sucker. If you're listening to me and you don't take any action at this moment in time, you're a sucker. I listened to Gregory Manorino after I completed and I struggled today. I didn't, I didn't finish till 2.30. I didn't want it to linger on anymore. I made my decisions. Now I wait till the end of July, beginning of August, and I plan on buying at least half those shares of stock back at half price in my little world. And then I'm going to sell them towards the end of the year. You ain't taking me down. I know exactly what's going down. Not taking me down. Just made me smarter and wiser, more powerful. Knowledge is power. That's a fact. Gregory Manorino. From now on, starting next week, I will buy dividend stocks. Check him out. Check out his channel, Gregory Manorino. And then he has all his links to all his information. I finally joined his newsletter. I want to follow his lead. When I finally hit 60, I want assets in the stock market. Companies paying me for using my money however they see fit. Dividend stocks. That's going to be my focus, main focus from now on. Not my total focus, but my main focus. Pensions and Social Security. 
the, 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 I mean, the, the, it's already showing that they're not going to be there. I'm grateful now that I gained a financial education to create assets that earn me money, and I will continue to do so before I get really tired. Because people who have pensions and Social Security, my age and under, it's not going to be there. I already know the last union, the one union I worked for, they're already cutting back on the pensions of the workers at the food store. I still receive those letters <laughs> because somebody's not doing their job. I still receive those letters. I'm like, when are they ever going to take me off the mailing list? Somebody's not doing their job. So I read those letters. I'm like, they're cutting their pension. That's what they're doing. So get ready. Protect yourself. Give yourself a backup. Nothing wrong with working for security. Give yourself a backup. Um, I don't want to give all my time for money anymore. Set up assets that generate passive income. That's it. That's all I got. I view it. Instacart. I want to build my dumpling business with quality clients. I'm not asking the world. I'm not overcharging. I'm not undercharging. I expect my average 15% gratuity that I expect is about $10, 10 to $12. If you can't do that right up front, then you don't deserve to have me serve you. You got to make a stand, guys. A stance? A stand. You, you get my drift. Okay? I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Okay? Bye, everybody.